Not a day goes by that a patient doesn't say to me, how do I treat this eye bag? That's what we're gonna talk about, so stay tuned. Hey, Doc audience, we're gonna talk about bags under the eyes. Rod, we hear about this all the time, right? Yep. And it's, you know, first of all, like, what like what do people mean when they have eye bags? Because I think what we think of eye bags is not necessarily what sometimes what patients are calling it. Right. I mean, there's so many different variations of eye bags. Now, if you have true eye bags where they're fullness, which is fat underneath the eyelid, you know, usually in your late 30s, early 40s, those really should be surgically removed. But many times, like you mentioned, they're not eye bags. Or when they smile, they get an extra crease. That may be the muscle around the eye being active. That's called obicularis hypertrophy, and that just needs to be removed. And then sometimes they may have not an eye bag, but they may have a tear trough. That's that line below the eye. And as we get older, that sometimes becomes more prominent because everything else is being released. And sometimes, not all the time, if they're young, you can put a filler in there, but be very careful. So there's a lot of different variations of what is an eye bag or what will make you look more youthful. But the common denominator is you want to make sure you can blend the eyelid and the cheek junction. And that's what makes you youthful. So filler sometimes and picking in younger patients. Right, only in younger patients um, with no eye bags. Fat, like fat grafting has become very really kind of state of the art, right? right? For some of that stuff. Yeah, and then the other thing is, you know, the dark circles. Yeah, yeah, how do you do, what, so, what do you, <laughs> how do you treat dark circles? That's tough. It's tough. I mean, there's no one good treatment for dark circles. And the bottom line is there's no one cure for dark circles. I mean, it, many people have them since they were kids and they're, they're hard to treat. Sometimes you can lighten them with a chemical peel, sometimes with a laser, sometimes you'll need medications, you know, to actually treat them. But you really need to see a board certified dermatologist or plastic surgeon that really specializes in this. But bottom line is there's no one good way to treat dark circles and there's no cure for it either. You know, people always ask about lasers. Is there one that works better than others? For well, the fractional laser, which is a, a, a micro laser that only affects the deeper layers down to the pigment layers of the skin that actually helps with that. Sometimes micro needling with PRP, platelet rich plasma, actually helps with that. And sometimes even more direct injection of PRP, which is the precursor to stem cells, actually works wonders in lightening that area and making it more so it blends with the eyelid cheek junction. So there's a lot of new things coming your way, but there's not one good treatment for it. And so, you know, kind of know before you go, make sure you see an expert that really specializes in doing these things properly. Otherwise, you can really get screwed up. But if you like this, you're gonna really like this video on all the different options to rejuvenate the face and neck.